Jeffrey Lamar Williams, professionally known as Young Thug, is an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. He is considered to be one of the most influential rappers of this generation, with his music having heavily shaped contemporary trap music and inspired numerous artists. Known for his eccentric vocal style and fashion, he first received attention for his collaborations with the rapper Birdman and Gucci Mane. Thug initially released a series of independent mixtapes beginning in 2011 with I Came From Nothing. In early 2013, he signed with Gucci Mane's 1017 Records, and later that year, he released his label debut mixtape 1017 Thug to the critical praise. Jeffrey Lamar Williams was born in Atlanta, the 10th of 11 children. He is from Sylvan Hills, a neighborhood in Atlanta's Zone 3, and grew up in the Jonesboro South Projects. Other rappers from this neighborhood include Waka Flocka, 2 Chains, Ludacris, and Willem's childhood friend, Pee Wee Longway, with whom Young Thug lived only four doors down from. Young Thug has told interviewers that he was expelled in the sixth grade for breaking a teacher's arm. He was sent to juvenile prison for four years. Young Thug has received both praise and criticism for his eccentric and unique vocal style, which has been described as departing from traditional rap lyricism and sometimes intelligible meaning. Jeff Weiss of BBC called him the most influential rapper of the 21st century. According to The Fader, in a typical Young Thug verse, he slurs, shouts, whines, and sings, feverishly contorting his voice into a series of odd timbres, like beautifully played but a broken wind instrument. Pitchfork called his style extraordinarily distinctive and a weird experimental approach to rapping, while praising his presence, persona, mystique, and potentially star power. Young Thug received mainstream recognition in 2014 with the singles Stoner and Danny Glover, in addition to the appearances on several singles, including T.I.'s single About the Money, Tyga's single Hookah, and Rich Gang's single Lifestyle. That year, he also signed to Lior Cohen's 300 Entertainment and collaborated on the mixtape Rich Gang The Tour Part 1. In 2015, he released a number of mixtapes including Barter 6 and two installments of his Slime Season series. These were followed in 2016 by the commercial mixtapes I'm Up, Slime Season 3, and Jeffrey. In 2017, Thug featured on the hit song Havana by pop singer Camila Cabello, which became a first number one single on the Billboard Hot 100. In 2018, he released a compilation album, Slime Language, with his label YSL Records. In 2019, he won a Grammy Award for the Song of the Year for a songwriting contribution in This Is America. Young Thug's debut studio album, So Much Fun, in 2019, it debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200 and included the Billboard Hot 100 top 20 single, The London and Hot. The following year, his single Go Crazy with Chris Brown from the collaborative mixtape Slime and B peaked at number 5 on the Hot 100, becoming his first top 10 single as a lead artist. Additionally, he reached number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 for the second time in his career, with his feature on Travis Scott's single Franchise. Young Thug's second studio album, Punk, is yet to be released. Vibe magazine called Young Thug one of the most unpredictable, charismatic, and outlandish personalities in hip-hop today. Robbie called him a fashion icon. His wardrobe has been described as eccentric and consists predominantly of women's clothing, which he has preferred to wear since the age of 12. The Seattle Times wrote that with a fashion sense as unconventional as his rapping, Young Thug can regularly be seen on his Instagram account rocking painted fingernails, skin-tight jeans, or a kid-sized dress as a shirt, which along with his habit of regularly referring to his close male friends as hubby or lover, has led to rumors about his sexual orientation. In an advertisement for Calvin Klein, Thug proclaimed, in my world, you can be gangsta with a dress, or you can be gangsta with a baggy pants. Fusion described him as defying gender stereotypes and agitating the way hip-hop defines black masculinity through his eccentric sense of style. He has been compared to David Bowie, Prince, and Little Richard. The media has called him gender fluid and androgynous. GQ called him at once a hero and an outsider and a leader of the psychedelic fashion movement of rap hippies. February 2018, Young Thug rebranded himself Sex. Young Thug is definitely the catalyst to a shift in hip hop. He will be remembered as so, and he still is continuing to be the most influential and greatest rapper alive at the moment. Hopefully we will see more Young Thug music and his new album will come out soon. 
This is brought to you by Homeless Penthouse. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and comment on what you want to see next. Peace. Everything litty, I love when it's hot. Turn to the city, I broke out the notch. Got some more millies, I keep me a knot. I created history, it made me a lot. He tried to diss me and it ain't no fights. We call them trusted, cause they gonna chop. Took her out of fallas, cause her pussy pop. I run it like Nike, we got.